Hello, it's Daryl as a service for Modern Work Mentor. I think I'm doing this backwards, the wrong way. I have got a unboxing sitting ready to edit for the Logitech MX Creative Console, but um, I've discovered something that I wanted to share with you before I put the unboxing out. I'm using Microsoft Teams and I wanted to be able to set up Microsoft Teams to be controlled from the, uh, the console. And it was a little bit tricky to do this during the unboxing. It wasn't really obvious, wasn't very clear. Uh, and as I was installing other plugins, like ones for uh, Adobe and the Creative Suite, very simple. But the Teams one, a little difficult. So I wanted to step through what you need to do to activate this so that it's helpful to those of you who are also unboxing the Logitech MX Creative Console. Here we go. Um, we have the console here, it is uh, already installed and so yeah, go and see the unboxing video one <laughs> when it's available. Um, but that's just showing your default general things that you can do uh, on your computer. I'm using a Mac, uh, but there'll be very similar steps uh, for this on a Windows machine. Um, so the really key thing here is to try and get Teams onto the panel. And uh, to start with, um, we'll go into the Logitech options. Now, the good thing about this is that the general profile uh, actually has a button to go straight to options. So if you are in these early stages configuring things frequently and tweaking things, then you can get straight to it. Now, I've got uh, the panel uh, to begin with. Let's open that up. And we'll go into Customize Keys. And uh, there's the applications that it has been detected. I expected to be able to easily detect Teams, install it, it would pull through the profile. It was not that simple. Um, so what I have to do, first of all, is go into All Actions. Um, and I was going to find more in the marketplace. And I had to find these myself. Type in Teams. And there's the plugin. And install that. Okay, so there are some additional steps. Similarly with the uh, Steam Stream Deck rather, um, that uh, you have to install the plugin and, and do some things from the Teams aspect of things. So let's just actually step through and take a look at some of the clues that we get with that. First of all, that orange exclamation mark to say that you need to do something, take some more steps, let's click into it. To connect this plugin, you need to enable the third party APIs and for more info. Now I do have more info already open up and uh, ready to go. Actually, no, that's the Teams article, but it's good to refer to, <laughs> um, which steps through similar sorts of things. I'll, I'll, I'll have a look at that shortly. Let's go back over to uh, more info and open that up. Okay, so uh, it's listing a number of different other supported apps and we're looking at Teams, which is top of the list. And so we have to download the Teams plugin, done. Launch Teams application, done, it's working. Go to settings and choose privacy and enable the third party um, app API. Right, should be familiar to those of you who have done this for uh, the Stream Deck as well. So we'll go into settings into privacy, down into manage API, and here's where we enable the API. Great. Allowed and blocked apps. Okay, well, nothing there yet. Uh, good. So let's go back over to Logitech. Um, and this is where it gets a little mysterious. Uh, again, expecting a few things to happen automatically, maybe guiding us through the process, but not so much. Um, how do I get Teams to trigger uh, and go on all of this? Um, let's go in here, go into Teams. Nope, we're back into the same thing. Um, this is what I discovered. You have to go through and add the profile manually. So along the top, we have uh, the general profile, which is what we see here. If we're just using unsupported apps or just generally working with the OS um, and the various different other apps that have profiles installed. We add a profile. We add an application profile. We search for Teams. Now it is a supported application, but for some reason it is not listed here. So let's do that. Teams, and there we go. Uh, it's going to be a blank profile. Again, I would have expected to have seen just the standard nine apps or nine buttons that would be suggested, but we have to start with something blank. And we'll just accept that regular name. 
Great, so we've got something that we can start working with. I'm going to go for one of the main things that we all use uh, when we're in a Teams meeting, and that is muting and unmuting. So to do that, uh, we've got a profile here, but we're still looking at system actions. Nothing here that's Teams related. Go into all actions, go into Teams, and this is when we start dragging in our controls and our reactions. So drag this over into mute and into the middle button. Now the reason I suggest the middle button is just like with keyboards, how they have like a little line that um, you can feel that's that the guiding keys where to start from. If I just hover my hand over here and I'm, I'm trying to do this without looking at the keypad, I can tell that that button, that middle button, is, is my starting point and if it's the most common button I'm gonna use, I can mute and unmute. Cool. We'll worry about putting other buttons there later, but just to get things going, we'll go into Teams. Um, yeah, I mean, there's nothing there yet still. What do our instructions say? Uh, that we start a Teams meeting and click accept when the authorization dialog box comes up. Hmm, let's try that. So we'll go into a Teams meeting. Here's one I prepared earlier. Join. Go ahead. Yowzers, actually, this is just... All right, we'll just stick with the camera that's currently in use, no problem. Um, we'll uh, join. I'll just turn off the mic and speakers just so that we can... Oh, no, we'll leave them on. Join. Bing bong, we are muted and unmute, that's cool. This is where I would expect something to pop up. I mean, that's what the article says. Start a Teams meeting, click accept when the authorization dialog box comes up. What's missing here from the instructions is you need to tap one of the buttons that you have created. Now notice, I have switched back over to the web browser and the profiles disappeared. Don't panic, it's because uh, I have a different application in focus, whereas if I click back into Teams, well it doesn't seem to work here with the, the uh, hover over window, but if I double click into it, Teams is back in profile and in focus, and now I've got the mute button. Now that hints towards some other complications, I'm sure, later on, but let's uh, let's do this next step, which is to actually click the button. And now we've got the dialog that says allow, uh, to allow the plugin to do what it needs to do. Great, so now it's working. Very nice. <laughs> let's try out a couple of other buttons. Uh, so what's some other ones that we might find useful? Raise hand. I'm going to pop this up in the top left-hand corner. So again, um, if you are going to get used to using this panel, I, I recommend, uh, li like we can teach ourselves to touch type, put your most common buttons in here, uh, and then uh, using your middle finger in the middle row that you know and you have that orientation of knowing exactly where you can go and click the other buttons as you get familiar with it. Okay, raise hand, what else can we drop in here? Uh, mute camera, maybe that's a good one to have off to, yeah, to the right of the mute button. Um, let's uh, go in with some reactions. So just some of the, the popular ones that I would often use, um, react uh, and like and love. All right, very good, so back to our meeting. I don't know if I can react to myself. Well, anyway, let's try turning off the camera. Camera off, camera on, very snappy, very good. Raise hand, raise hand, very snappy again too. Uh, react, okay, so I can react to myself. <laughs> Doing a good job, Daryl. Uh, thumbs up, yeah, yeah, good, and then like as well, or love, I should say. Right, so that's all working as expected. Now, I wanted to go back to that other thing, that uh, if we are maybe presenting our desktop uh, and we wanted to um, mute and unmute or, or use various things on the keypad, it looks like it's going to be out of focus. So let's actually try this. We'll share, uh, let's have a look here. Uh, Lots of stuff I'm not ready to show you yet, but we could go to that Copilot user group one. So this is PowerPoint Live. And I believe this, because the PowerPoint is actually part of the Teams experience, 
that uh, Teams is in focus and I can mute and unmute. That's great, raise hand, lower hand. But I believe here's where the tricky part comes. If I was to share, let's say my screen, yeah, and then we'll go back into our instructions, right? I still have Teams running and working and as a presenter, um, maybe I still want to be able to use Teams buttons and control things, but you notice that now Teams is not in focus, uh, that I'm working on another application presenting my desktop, it could be a PowerPoint, that it is no longer in focus and I can't control those. Maybe that's the intention. Maybe if I am in an application where I want to um, focus on it and control things with my keypad, I can. Uh, like if I'm doing a demonstration of Adobe Premiere Pro or um, other applications that are supported, uh, then um, that's in focus now and Teams is not. So it's something to keep in mind that if you want to use this keypad, uh, you will need to have Teams in focus. Uh, and that makes sense, I guess, from a presenter's perspective that I am presenting something to you and I would be focused on whatever the application is in focus. I'm probably not gonna mute my microphone if I am presenting. But we can double click our window to bring back the Teams in focus. That's the way I do it anyway. And um, now we're back into using that. So these are really buttons, I, I believe, for uh, participating. You're uh, participating, you're in the audience, you're uh, participating in a collaborative meeting, then you're going to be able to control these sorts of things on the Logitech MX Creative Console. I did it that way, I said it that way, because I often get things transposed and around the wrong way. Anyway, so that's how I got it working. I hope that uh, Logitech and Microsoft will make things a bit easier for getting this under control and set up for people in the future. Uh, but for now, you will need to go through some steps. That was Daryl as a service for Modern Work Mentor, and we'll see you around. Bye for now.